maybe you're going through a breakup. Maybe you just got laid off or you're at home living with your parents. Whatever it is that you're going through, I'm going to assume that it is tough. I will also assume that it's not something that you consciously asked for. But here you are. I have good news and I have bad news. The good news is that whatever you do in this moment can lead to the greatest transformation of your life. The bad news is that whatever you don't do could lead you down the opposite path. I've had several moments where I had to make a decision. I specifically remember one moment where I was at a fork in the road and I knew that down one path was certain self-destruction and potentially even an early end. And I saw the other path, but I had no idea where it was going. It was murky. And I was literally being pulled down the other path where things were only going to get worse. So I knew that if I did nothing, that I was simply going to drift down that path. And I knew that I had to act. And that act, that step that I took away from this path, was the one thing that saved me. There is a science to self-transformation that you can use to completely flip the script on whatever it is that you're going through right now. There are four specific elements of this that I want you to understand. The first is your brain. Your brain is just hardware. The second is your mind. Your mind is your consciousness. It is the software. It's whatever you focus on. The third is your body. Your body is actually a tool that you have control over that you can use to create action. The fourth is your external environment, which is something that you at least have limited control over. You cannot fully control your brain. Information comes in through your senses, it gets processed in your mind, and you can't do anything about that. Your mind, on the other hand, you have complete control over. And what you focus on is going to allow you to take the actions necessary to rewire the hardware of your mind. As babies, you and I are not born understanding where our bodies end and where the world begins. So what do we do? We flail our arms around. We kick. We scream. We put our foot in our mouth. And every action that we take creates a new connection in our brain where we create millions of synapses per second. Through that process, we start to understand, this is me, that is the world. Our brains map our reality through our actions, not by what we think. Even as adults, action still wires our perception. There was a famous study done where scientists had people wear these goggles that flip the world upside down. When the participants moved, their brains adjusted, and eventually they started to see the world the right side up again. On the other hand, if the people just sat still, their brains never adjusted. That's the secret. Your brain adapts through motion, not through thinking, but through doing. This is what you need to do right now. When you choose new behavior, especially in times of pain, 
you actually activate your brain's neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity is your brain's ability to create new neural pathways and new functions throughout life. You are literally creating new connections in your brain, new thoughts, new emotions, and you are creating a new identity for yourself through action. Every time you ruminate and you just sulk in that pain, you are only strengthening the pathways that are already there. When you do just one thing different, you set off on a new path. You don't need to fix everything right now. You just need to do one thing. Once you take that one step in the other direction, the only thing that's left to do is to take the next step. And then the next step. And the next thing you know, you look back and you've gone many miles into a new direction. I do not know what it is that you need to do, but I can give you a few suggestions and I'll tell you what I did that completely changed my life. It could be as simple as going for a walk. It could be saying hello to a stranger or to someone that you've been seeing and you haven't said hello to. It could be journaling what you're dealing with and really writing down and feeling all of the emotions that are rushing through you at this moment. It could be taking a cold shower. It could be making your bed in the morning. It doesn't matter what it is. It just needs to be deliberately new. And when you do that enough times, it's gonna change your perception. Eventually, you'll look back at this pain in this moment right now, and you'll recognize that that pain was not there to break you or to hurt you, but instead, it was to reveal you to yourself. If you enjoyed this message, hit the like button, subscribe. It helps a ton. It allows me to know what it is that you want to see more of. And obviously, if this was helpful to you and you think it could help someone else, share this message with them. Other than that, I'll see you next time.